And so without further ado, I would like to call up our first speaker. Ms. Megan Trotter is going to share with us her perspectives in her current role at Sundesk, as well as a long history in services, most recently with the St. Anthony's Foundation. So she's been on both sides of the aisle and brings that um, unique passion and amazing how you go from theory to practice uh, to her work every day on Market Street. Thank you, Megan. Uh, so as Peter said, my name is Megan Trotter, and I'm the Community Programs Manager at Zendesk. And uh, my role there is really to connect our employees who are tech workers uh, with our community. And for us, we're at Sixth and Market, so our community is the general one. And we're really committed to being a part of this. We're committed to being a positive uh, force in our neighborhood. Um, but really when thinking about uh, corporate res social responsibility or uh, community engagement in the tech field, it's important to think that it's not one size fits all. And it's really what's important to your company, what's important to your community, and finding something that, that meets at both of those. Um, but at Zendesk, we've been really successful. So last year, 93% of our employees in San Francisco volunteered. And this is not mandatory volunteering, this is not volunteering time off, this is volunteering. Um, so I just wanted to share some of the things that we think make our programming really successful. And so one thing is that we have a super hyper-local focus. So in San Francisco, we are only gonna focus on mid-market tenderloin issues. And we take the same stance when we go into all of our other offices that also have community agreements and community initiatives. So for example, in Copenhagen, they're not, they don't have homelessness like we have here. So we're really focusing on social enterprise there and what are the issues that are important to our specific location there. Uh, another thing that we think makes our programming really successful is that we encourage our employees to explore and to, to learn about their community. And we have a lot of educational programming that, uh, that we offer to our staff. And so we have three tenderloin walking tours a month. We have a monthly uh, lunch series called Neighborhood Nosh, where we invite a community member in to talk about their work. And we really want our employees to go out and learn more, learn whatever you can about the neighborhood. And of course we do volunteering. So we have at least you know one volunteer activity every week in a variety of different things and really trying to, uh, to see what our employees are interested in and to really use that, that interest to, uh, to get them excited about civic projects. And we really want our employees to be respectfully curious because we want them to see things that are scary and uncomfortable and have questions. And we want them to be able to get those questions answered. And so for us in the tenor line, the biggest thing is drug use. Drug use is incredibly prevalent, and when people start at Zendesk, this is one of the first things that they encounter, and it can be really scary. Uh, but we've tried to kind of harness that fear into something positive. And so uh, so monthly, we go to Bly, there's about 10 employees that go every month, and we put together harm reduction kits. And we, uh, we, you know, we get these needle exchange kits together, and uh, it's an opportunity for our employees to, to uh, you know, express their fears while doing something. Another thing we do is we listen. So we really want to listen to our community members. You know, what do they need? What are they asking for? And to our employees, you know, what are they interested in? What skills can they offer? And try and find a collaborative space. Um, so one example of a successful collaboration that we had was uh, Link SF. And so uh, Link SF started uh, at St. Anthony Foundation when I was working there. And I was managing the Tenderloin Technology Lab, which is a free computer access and training center for primarily low-income homeless individuals. And we were seeing people come into the tech lab uh, with web-enabled phones, with smartphones. And we were also seeing a lot of people come in and they were asking for other services. Where can they find other things, other things that they need? And so we wanted to create a resource that would help them, that would connect them with the services that they were in need of. And so we had send us. We said, hey, you have engineers, can you build this? And they really were able to listen to what we needed and our concerns, and were able to build Link Us Up, which is exactly that. It's a mobile optimizing portal that connects people with services around them. And it's this great tool that kind of came out of just listening, listening to what needs are, listening to what skills are out there, and putting them together. And so this is Link Us Up, and 
we uh, at SendS they've made it open source. We've made it open source, and so they, we have it in New York, and we have it in other instances. But really, came out of our ability to listen to our community. And then at the end of the day, it's really good for our employees. Uh, so our employees love this. Uh, you know, it's one of the top reasons they come to Zenness. And so for us, that's the initiative to you know to keep going for this. So we really think that through our hyperlocal approach of encouraging our employees to uh, to explore their community and uh, and really uh, engage in the community, we have happy employees and they're civically engaged. Thank you guys. Thank you.